Hello everyone, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out the debut of a brand new girl group. This is Ring X Ring by Billy. I don't know much about this group. Um, all I know is that this is the debut of a new girl group and a lot of people have been wanting me to check this out. That's all I know, so we're gonna be flying into this blind. But before we actually get into the video, let's talk about today's sponsor real quick, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. We've worked with Skillshare for over a year now and they've helped both me and our audience pursue our creative passions. You know, people often ask me, how do I get started on YouTube? How do I get started in production? Well, Skillshare actually has a class for everything. Whether you're a budding filmmaker or you wanna be a YouTuber or you don't know how TikTok works, there are various classes that you can take. I follow Jordy Vandeput on YouTube and Jordy Vandeput also has several Skillshare classes. I recently found out that Jordi Vanderbilt actually has a DSLR filmmaking class for beginners. So if you wanna get started, that's a great place to go. Now we have a special offer for just our viewers. For the first thousand people who use our link in the description below, you get a free one month trial of Skillshare's premium membership. In fact, last month we actually hit our goal of free trial membership signups and so we got a kickback. So not only are you getting Skillshare and learning a new skill, you are supporting our channel as well. So thank you very much guys for supporting our channel. So again, if you wanna find or deepen your existing creative passions, go to Skillshare. Once again, thank you everyone for using our link and for supporting Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get into this. This is Ring Ring by Billy, and this is your form of therapy. For my Billy. This is a very strange opening for a K-pop music video, let alone a debut music video. It's very uh, short film-esque. Whoa. This is a very interesting opening. Whoa, this song is also incredibly experimental. Whoa. Whoa. I love this girl with short black hair. Her charisma is intense. Whoa, vocals, okay. Okay, that was a much more easier transition into the chorus. Whoa. Bring 
Oh. The match cut there was very, very slick. Wow. Time to go to church. All right, guys. I've watched a lot of K-pop music videos. Obviously, right? Especially doing this, what we do on this channel. I watch almost all K-pop music videos. Whether I love it or not, I watch almost everything, right? Almost everything. Probably like 90% of like what's out there. And I've seen a lot of progressive things, and I've seen a lot of interesting things, but I have never seen a music video like Billy's Ring Ring in K-pop. I think ever. It, 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 and it's not just one thing. It's a mix of things. But it's the overall presentation and package of this. But I have seen this before. And it's very strange, but it's very odd, but... I think Billy is exactly what we need in K-pop right now. And I really, really hope Billy takes off. So much so that I hope Billy, what they did here, I hope that this is not just a fluke. I hope that comeback after comeback, that this is a consistent style that this company has uh, molded and crafted for this group. I really, really hope that this was not just like a one-time thing. Because... This is the most unique thing I've seen in K-pop, but I feel like I've seen this in J-pop. Something about this, everything about this, in fact, feels inherently like a J-pop group package, um, especially with the folks over on our Patreon. Uh, you know, oftentimes we would do Japanese live streams and people would show me J-pop music videos, whether it's girl groups, guy groups, the presentation of just already this very interesting opening. Um, it's not just that it's cinematic or film-like. I know I use those words a lot, but there is an emotion to directing styles. And the directing style here feels inherently Japanese. Something about this feels inherently Japanese. Um, the approach to the opening already feels a lot more nuanced. It feels like... Uh, Honestly, like a Japanese. Sh Honestly, I, I thought that was 101. I, I hear that. <laughs> Just even their color grading is. Yeah, their color grading. I don't see this kind of color grading in Korean media. In general. Why why does this feel so inherently Japanese? What is this? What is this? What is it about this? What is it? I'm so baffled. Oh, I love how the camera just went down with her. Oh. And if you think about it, I think, okay, I think there's several things here. Japanese music videos do not do the thing like K-pop does where changing sets every single time, to kind of constantly, blah, 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 blah. They don't do that too much. In fact, I feel like something that I see in Japanese music videos is they have less sets, but each set is a lot more concentrated and they are a lot more stylistic and there's a lot more heavy emphasis on the editing as well. 
And I think that's also what's coming alive here. If you think about it, they really only have one set in this entire music video. And they go for the empty black set and they're using basically just lighting and outfits to make it look different. And yet, never once do I watch this and I think this music video is low budget, this music video is cheap, this music video is boring, not once. In fact, it's interesting the entire time. She looks familiar. I don't know why. Um, a couple commentaries I, I would give on the song. In fact, largely, I think the song is so wild and it's so experimental and I actually love it. And I'm definitely not, uh, you know, I'm definitely not into music enough to tell you why this sounds so much like a Japanese production. But something that I would definitely say... Uh, is a problem for the song is I don't like the mixing. Um, the mixing is not perfect. And maybe that's probably what also makes it sound Japanese because Japanese, oh, a lot of J-pop productions, the, mis the mixing is like really hit or miss. And that's like a, that's like a thing in Japan. Um, that's kind of what I get here. I do feel like their voices are heavily buried in the mix. And I wish, like, her voice, I wish they would pull it up. I wish they would pull all of their voices up. But the experimental part, I'm actually a big fan of that. I actually love how weird this song is. It's the editing, too. The editing, the snappy editing doesn't feel like typical K-pop editing. Even just, like, the this and then cutting between the three, like, the... There's something so emotional about the editing. I, I don't know why. It like it leaves me in awe. I love the main hook in the instrumental. The na 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 na. I don't know what the fuck that instrument is, but it sounds so good. It's what gives this song its weird, its weird vibe. I also think it's the lighting. This lighting, I also feel like, I don't know if K-pop music videos are usually lit like this. And the, even this set right here, this very squid gamey set, it looks like it's straight out of, out of a perfume perfume music video. Okay, this is something I, I didn't like in the first part of the verse. And that's why like when I first watched this, I was like, vocals? Cause in the first part, they like put her voice through like a weird filter. That one I didn't like. She's got a very beautiful voice. Hold on. Oh, I love this girl so much. Huh? This group is from Mystic Story? What? Okay, two of them are from Japan.
what the f- hold on wait a minute sorry i okay i'm reading an article about billy and it's kind of blowing my mind uh, okay so they said something interesting their name combines the english name billy with an extra l they said the regular name billy reflects their b sides the inner self that everyone has inside them they hope to emphasize with people by expressing their b sides while adding a twist like the extra letter to create something special. That's interesting. But here's something else that Moon Sua says. And Moon, Moon Sua is the younger sister of Astro's Moonbin. Interesting. We want to make music that could warmly touch people's hearts. That's the weird thing about Ring Ring. There's something about this song that feels like very emotional. Like, I don't know why. Like, I'm watching this and I'm like... This isn't really an emotional song or a sad song or anything like that. But what is it about that main instrumental hook that makes me feel some kind of way? And then, first of all, the fact that they're under Mystic Story is just... Uh, and it also makes sense because it, it, they're apparently Mystic Story's first girl group. And that's just... It's wild. I can't believe Mystic Story has a girl group. Wow. But... The group garnered much attention ahead of their debut as the first girl group assembled at the hands of South Korea's star singer-songwriter producer Yoon Jong-shin. Holy moly. Interesting. 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 All right. So Billy's debut also comes with high Yoon Jong-shin by the way is a legendary singer. So he picked them himself. So Ring Ring is backed by some of the biggest names in the industry. Lyricist Kim Yana, composer Yi min music video director Hwang su While the three artists all have their own extensive careers, they have together created numerous K-pop hits, including IU's Good Day, The Red Shoes, Brown Eyed Girls, Abracadabra, and Candyman? What? What? They're under Mystic Story? Mystic Story? This is... Listen, man. If you told me that Mystic Story is would have an idol group. I'd be like, what? But then now that I'm seeing Mystic Story's idol group, I'm like, this is so ambitious. And this is so musically different. Like, it's a group that could have only come out of Mystic Story. Holy moly, what the heck? Personally, I think this debut, for me personally, I think is one of my favorite debuts. One of my favorites. I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I don't know if it is my favorite, but I have to give this a 10 out of 10. Like, it's a 10 out of 10 debut. There are some problems with the song, like where I, I, I feel like, ah, this doesn't kind of work for me. Like, especially, like I said, the mixing is a big thing for me, but it's so ambitious. And honestly, given that they are under Mystic Story, I'm really, really hoping that, and I'm kind of confident that this strange, ambitious style is going to be part of their music going forward. And I, well, something I also noticed, which uh, is kind of dope, is that they seem very dance heavy, which apparently they have worked with Leah Kim. But even just like them wearing like the red, red track suits and whatnot, they give off a very different vibe compared to other girl groups too. Like they seem very vocally focused and yet very dance focused at the same time. And, and I'm not talking just like K-pop, typical K-pop dance, but like actual like dance dance. 
And that is also really surprising as well. Right now, everything is a little too early to tell, but the new groups that are debuting, the ones that are truly like backed by some of the biggest names in the industry are becoming some of the more progressive, interesting groups coming out. And Billy is a group to look out for. If there is an album for this debut, I'm definitely gonna do a listening party for, our, uh, for it on our Patreon in December. So you can check that out, but just, just on the basis of this, this music video is so small, but it's so intimate and it's so precisely well done. The song is so ambitious. The song kind of, I think overall it hits. There are some things that, like I said, I wish they had done differently, but overall it hits. I have to give it a 10 out of 10. I think the song, I would give it like a 9.5 out of 10. The music video, I would give it like a 9.5 out of 10. But the overall debut package, I got to give it a 10 out of 10. This is so incredibly ambitious. Whether or not I will actually become a, a big fan of these girls, I think is completely going to rely on their first comeback. This could be just a fluke. This could be a fluke. This just could happen to be that they had a really ambitious song and that's it. But, and they just had like a really interesting music video. You know, maybe it's a lightning in a bottle. Maybe they can't capture it twice. But if they can, if they can keep this consistent going throughout their career, holy moly, holy moly. All right, guys, um, Ring Ring by Billy. 10 out of 10 debut. Would like to know what do you guys think about this debut i think this is one of the most different things i have ever seen in the k-pop scene and i am craving more and i really 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 hope that uh billy uh comes back with an even stronger comeback than this because this was so good and i cannot wait to see what else they can do but guys uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Uh, once again, if you want to support the channel, you can visit our Patreon. Uh, thank you to Skillshare once again for sponsoring this video as well. Uh, if you don't want to spawn, uh, help us out monetarily. Any Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you want to support us direct... Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you want to support us directly, guys, you can also visit our Patreon. Of course, if you don't want to support us monetarily, you can always just hit the like button, subscribe, and check the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Check out our other videos over here. We'll see you guys later. Bye.